out with Caitlin Gerard. We're on the set of a brand new MTV show. How exciting! It's so exciting! <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about the show. Introduce it to our viewers and tell us what it's all about. Okay, so I play Amy Page on Zach Stone is Gonna Be Famous, and I am Zach Stone's best friend. Pretty much, it's the summer before college, and we're all leaving except for Zach, who didn't get into school. So he's kind of trying to find out a way to prove himself to all of us and decides to spend all of his college savings on a camera crew that he hires to film him to create a reality TV show so that he can become famous. And so how does Amy feel about this situation? I mean, um, cameras everywhere all the time. Well, you know, I think it's kind of an awkward feeling at first to have cameras around you. I'm sure any reality TV star can attest to that, but then you kind of probably get used to it. You know, they're not even, you know, they're just another person in the room, which is kind of cool because the cameras actually are characters and they're people. So, <laughs> yeah, so you, you you get a little piece of them too. They, they interact with the show too, which is really fun and kind of puts a new spin on things because we get their perspective. Like they comment on things, they're like, oh, well that was boring. <laughs> <laughs> so, so really great moments are kind of like, ruined by the peanut gallery. Yeah, but. yeah. So would you say when you're shooting this, you feel like you're on the set of a reality show? Or is it more like, no, hey, this well, is a TV show, no, it's, scripted? It's fully a TV show. Uh -huh. I mean, it's scripted and, you know, it's fun though because we do have freedom to improvise, you know, and it's nice. That's, that's what's really fun with Bo and having comedians around. I mean, this is my first comedy, so I'm spoiled because it's really fun. You just have no, every take is different and you have no idea what you're gonna expect. And it's just, you're always on the tip of your toes because you don't know what's gonna happen next. So it's it's really fun. It's, cool. it's the hardest thing is not laughing. That's just oh trying to keep God. a straight face while Bo Burnham just does his does crazy his thing. thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, we're actually kind of at the end of production right now. You guys are kind of getting ready to wrap. But lucky for the rest of us, the show's about to debut. I know. Thinking back to all of the scenes that you've shot, are there any that stick out in particular that were extra fun or extra special for you to do as an actor? Well, really everything was so fun. I have never had so much fun. I'm so sad it's ending, but I'm really excited to watch it mm -hmm. and to actually see all the stuff I wasn't a part of. But really fun moments that I had, the, there's um, an episode where Zach Stone is gonna be scary and he tries to scare his little brother. And it is so funny. We had so much fun. We were in an actual abandoned home. Oh no. Yeah, it was crazy. Ah. And it is, is an abandoned home from like 1907. It was crazy scary. I mean, it was, Scary. We we while they were setting up, we actually explored the whole house, went into the basement and the attic, and mm -hmm. we didn't really have to do much because it was frightening. And um, and yeah, we it, you know it could have been haunted. We, we I don't doubt that. <laughs> so as far as Amy goes, kind of love interest. Well, you know it's it's complicated when you've known someone your entire life. You know, Amy and Zach grew up together. Mm -hmm. And their relationship as friends is so deep that when new feelings come up that you haven't experienced before really with anyone else either, it's kind of confusing and you don't know what it is and you don't know how to deal with it or handle it. And mm -hmm. so it's kind of a, it's kind of this trying to figure out who you are and who they are and what they now mean. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of you can't put Sounds words. Very confusing. You can't put words to it. It's well, it's you know, it's like it's not, it's not as easy as when you walk into a room and you see someone. You're like, oh, you. Like mm -hmm. I have my eye on you. With this, it's this. You you've been together your whole life, and so to all of a sudden experience that that look is just unsettling. Mm -hmm. You know, and you don't really know what to do with it because you've trusted them and known them in such a deep way that's entirely different from, you know, liking someone or having a crush on someone. So we kind of go through this roller coaster where we both have these feelings, but we miss each other and then we, you know, it's just, it's a mess. Is there gonna be a makeout session? Well, <laughs> let's just say Amy gets lucky on multiple oh, occasions with really? multiple gentlemen. <laughs> And this is kind of switching it up a little bit, but if you were to be on a reality show in real life, 
What would you be in? I think or I've on? I passed my prime for toddlers and tiaras. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> the, the idea of being able to dress up like that would be really fun. Um, I guess that would be beauty pageants, but I don't think those are as fun. Uh huh. Um, what else is there? Ooh, real. Oh, well, I really, I really like to cook, but it would have to be one of those reality TV shows where it's like, you take people who can't cook and put them to the test, and if they fail, they have to go through some, you know, horrible, yeah, torturous thing, or eat the food you made, which is all. I don't know. <laughs> And what would Amy? What would Amy be on? Ooh, Amy. She'd be on. You know those? Um, what's the one on? Is it the History Channel where they do the experiments? You know, and they test things out. Do you know oh, to, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. To see how it would have worked. Yeah, or back like the in the day. Oh, Mythbusters. Myth yeah, for sure. You bust some myths. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> why. That's why the haunted house one was so funny. Yes. Yes. And of course, we got to ask because this is a brand new show. Yeah. Uh, viewers don't know quite what to expect yet. Why should they tune in? You know, the really interesting thing about what Zach goes through is a very genuine experience that we all feel when we graduate high school. We have all known life a certain stable way, and now we're going out into the world. You know, most of us going to college without even knowing what we want to do with ourselves, and you're kind of being steered in this direction that you aren't sure of yourself. And I think Zach speaks for all of us in a bold way where he's trying to figure himself out. And, you know, he challenges the norm, and he challenges that feeling of doing just what you're supposed to do. And he's, you know, following his heart and trying to figure it out, and it just happens to be really funny every time he fails. <laughs> But he really, I think he speaks for us all when we can't speak up and say, is this the right thing to do? Are we, you know, is this what's supposed to come after high school? Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it, he, he goes through all that pain for us. Nice. Yeah. I want to tune in and see if I can figure out when you guys are improving versus oh. when you're sticking to the script. I bet it's, you can't wait to it's finally more like see you, that. You, you notice the other actors who are like, per, like pressing their lips super tight not to laugh, you know, just biting your tongue. So it's, yeah, it's great. I've, it's such a genuine piece and I haven't seen anything like it. And I think it's going to be really exciting. Awesome. Yeah. I hope you guys like it. We can't wait to see it. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Yeah, thanks so much. And thanks to you guys for checking out Clever TV. Make sure you keep it here for all of the details on your favorite shows, including this one coming out on MTV very soon. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye.